to entangle that up. I thought the Hans had been off and we'd be talking about Rossi versus Lorenzo. That was, of course, the smart money. We're through turn 12, we're on to turn 13. <laughs> on to turn 13 now. Uh, Lorenzo's closing it on Pedroza. And Pedroza, I wonder where Danny sits in all of this. Danny, Danny would like to win a couple more. Yeah, his first pole for some time, over a year for a moment. Let's look down on what's going on at the moment. Davizioso still in fifth grade. Crutchlow is still sitting. Bradley Smith up to seventh. That's, That's a good, good ride start. from Bradley at the moment. Yeah. He's qualified, didn't he? Well, he's qualified, went back and he's free practice. Oh, oh Valentino out wide, and Mark Marcus gets underneath him. Now it's a straight shootout down towards turn one. These two are absolutely at it, aren't they? Off track and on. Oh, Honda does not last by oh, all. Yes, it does. It does now. On the brakes. Marquez, did he make the apex? Just. Barely, barely. Just. And Valentino, there was a yard, and Valentino took it. We're going to see that all the way through. And of course, what's going to happen while these two are playing like this? Oh, the front two are going to clear off. Are you accusing Mark Marquez, Marquez of playing with Ronald Jimmy Rossi so we're going to win the good stage? It was the wrong words. <laughs> I'll take it back, there's no playing going on here, they're both as serious as they can be. Here comes Marquez up the inside, and that blocks off Valentino again. This is an absolute war. We saw them come together at Argentina when front wheel cut back wheel. That really cost Mark Marquez, it slung him up the road massively. This time, oh, look at that! Wow. That's tough. Very fair, no, it's fair. Of course. Tough, but fair. Brilliant, brilliant motorcycle racing. Two of the very best in the world. An Two. icon, a legend. Two of the best. Up by a youngster. Two of the best we've ever seen in the world. So, Sepang, I mean, if we've got any Formula 1 fans in the uh, crowd, certainly here at Sepang, you're going to see more passes in this lap between these two. You can probably see the entire race on track. That is turn nine up there. Oh, no! Oh, through ten, rising up to eleven. Quick nod to Marco Cimoncelli here, and again, Valentino Rossi. That oh, he oh, lost the front, he lost the front. He looks to the right, he lost the front, and through comes Marquez again. These two are at it. This is Walker. One is 22, one is... The it is an incredible fight between the Spaniard and the legendary Italian. And meanwhile, Tedrosa and Lorenzo are clearing off into the distance to dispute the lead. It is a seven-tenths lead last time at the line. We'll wait and see when Lorenzo... He has closed it down. Yeah, yeah. Lorenzo yes. is chasing Pedroza and he's closing it down. Marquez now in third place. That's the better of Valentino Rossi. Wide again. But he pulls that Honda. He wants to get that Honda to that apex up on the flat bit. Fire it out of there. Plus two, Marquez. That says it's on Lorenzo's board. Down then towards turn one. Still Danny Pedrosa and Jorge out front. What an incredible few opening laps here. 20 lap race. We're already with only 15 to go. Take a look at this. Here comes Valentino. Mark Marquez early on the gas. He's not going to allow Valentino the opportunity. Did Valentino actually headbutt the back of the Repsol Honda? Involuntarily. Through. Oh. Man, you have how, no idea how hard that is to do, let alone stay on it. How close do you like it? Oh, that close. Walk straight back through. That's a reflex action when a motorcycle slides out from underneath you. Your outside leg comes off. Incredible save there from Valentino Rossi. We saw an even bigger save from Mark Marquez in qualifying. But we've seen Mark have a couple of serious uh, bits of misbehaviour already in this race. Like, Look at this, I thought Valentino... We're going to see more yet. Julian does a move straight underneath and he moves Mark Marquez off the line. Of the footrest looks round. <laughs> I wouldn't bother what you did. Barry Sheen versus Kenny Roberts, 1979, ladies and gentlemen, and everybody's shaking their heads. Out goes Valentino again. Mark Marquez, this is personal. This is a real personal fight. Valentino thinks he's been interfered with deliberately there. That's what that gesture was about. This is proper racing, if you ask me, Julian. I agree with you. I don't think it's got anything to do other than the fact there's two top men, egos and performances, fighting around this Sepang racetrack. And all the time, Valentino's lead in the championship is being whittled away by all the Lorenzo oh, out front. Underneath, that's two lines you can get through there quite neatly. It's when they touch, it's the problem. So, once again, Marcus in front of Valentino Rossi. The M1 and the Repsol 21-3V look so similar, Julian, around in different that places is... on this track. Different motorcycles, different concepts, different strategies, but almost identical lap times. Meanwhile, Mr. Pedroza... What's it, it was last time six tenths at the last stop. It is six tenths at the last stop. So, uh, Danny Pedroza is brought it down, or it's come down by a tenth between the front two. Look at this, the conspiracy theory.